Hi, my name is Christian Felix from Walters Mercedes-Benz of Riverside, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new 2020 CLS 450. Okay, so here we go. Um, this here is the 2020 CLS 450. This was just redesigned in 2019. You'll notice that the full front bumper, like the whole design of the vehicle, for the most part, was all redesigned. I'm speaking about the interior and also the exterior. You'll see right here, you have the new sleek LED headlights. You also have the new front bumper. And then this one does have an AMG Sport package, so you, you will get the diamond grille. This one also gives you the parking sensors which you have the surround view parking sensors with the surround view camera as well. The camera is right up over here in front of the Mercedes-Benz emblem um, and then right under the mirrors. And also this does offer you a driver's assistance package. The driver's assistance package is what used to be called a Distronic Plus. Now it's just called Dist a driver's assistance. Um, this sensor right here, it's a very smart cruise control. You turn on your cruise control and the car will stop and go with traffic for you. You set your speed limit and you also set your car to car distance as well. And even if that's off and if you're driving and if you're not paying attention what's going on ahead of you, this car will automatically park it, uh, stop itself for you. Um, so it applies brakes for you, even if you're puts on the gas or on the brake. How, however which way, this car will automatically take over for you and there's a lot of neat features that will um, work out for you as well. Um, and this does offer you the AMG Sport package like I mentioned, so you have the lower front end bumper and then also you do get a night package which gives you some black accents. Um, you can see it on the mirrors right over there as well, on the front uh, grille as well and also on the wheels and so a few extra accents as well. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about under the hood of this vehicle of the 2020 CLS 450. This is a three liter, six cylinder inline with a turbo engine and also an EQ boost. This is no longer a belt driven vehicle. Now you have a battery with it, which is between the engine and transmission. This is a 362 horsepower, 369 pound feet of torque. You also have a nine speed automatic transmission. And then not only that, this gives you an, an insanely uh, zero to 60 out of 4.7 seconds. Moving along to the side of the vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the full design of this vehicle. This does give you that coupe design and I'll just show you that in just a bit. You do get the, um, this one since it does have the AMG Sport package, you will have the multi-spoke 20 inch AMG wheel with the perforated brakes. Since like I mentioned earlier, this does have a night package, you will get the, night, the blacked out design on the wheels, on the mirrors, and also on the door frame as well. So you'll notice right here, this is also blacked out, gives you that nice two-tone accent. And then the benefit of having an AMG Sport package, you do have a much more sleeker design and also a much more sleeker, sleeker wheel for the vehicle. Um, you also do get the power folding mirrors. So when you lock the car, there's a sensor right there. Or with the key fob, you'll notice right here, this is a new Mercedes-Benz key fob. Um, the mirrors did fold in. Put your hand in the door handle mirrors automatically fold out and then like I mentioned earlier this is a CLS coupe so you do get that nice little slope with that coupe design feel but it being also a four door and that explains why you don't get the door frames on the vehicle and another nice thing is that I always like to mention is that you can actually hold on for your third flash uh, which is your lock sensor right over here and then you pull back automatically when it's hot outside, like times like in the summertime, your windows will all go down, which is a nice benefit to you. Um, so instead of having to go back in or anything like that, another nice thing that you can do is if you step out of the vehicle, if any of the windows were uh, happened to be open or including the sunroof as well, you would just easily hold on to that right there, that lock sensor, the windows closed for you, or you can easily hold on as you walk away and then you're you can do that as well, holding on to the lock sensor only. Now moving on to the rear of the vehicle, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about a few of the things that this beautiful CLS does have. You'll notice that this has that coupe design that I was talking to you guys about. Almost seems like it is a coupe, but it's really not. It's a four door coupe. Um, every Mercedes Benz is always gonna have the Mercedes Benz emblem on the middle of the rear bumper. Um, and then also you have your badging, CLS 450 in this case. Um, and then also you have your parking sensors. So you'll see these cutouts right over here. It's for your parking sensors for the rear as well. You get the dual exhaust, 
the nice rear deflector so when your car is parked on the side of the road and you have vehicles driving behind you the what's going to deflect more is going to be the reflector is going to be right over here you also do get the star dust effect on the brake so what that means for you is that when you're braking it's actually a uh, brighter uh, tail light and so the vehicles behind you can actually see you as well and you also do get the beautiful led strip right there as well and then your blinker lights right down over here this one does offer you also the rear spoiler right there as well so i wanted to go ahead and talk about the power lift gate and also the trunk um one that the thing is that i grabbed a bag something really neat about it, the power lift gate is that you have three different ways of opening the trunk um which is through your key fob which not really anybody does anymore as, as long as you have the power lift gate you can tap onto this mercedes-benz emblem right over here really simply close it just like that but if you're carrying something that's extremely heavy or just something that's like okay i can't drop this for whatever reason as long as you have your key fob with you you can kick right dead center in the middle your trunk opens up automatically for you pop that right in there and you can do the same thing just like that and now that i have the trunk open i want to go ahead and talk about a few things that this that you have uh, to your advantage which comes down to the trunk it being a coupe design vehicle you would expect a smaller trunk space but you don't it's actually really big you also have some nice hanger right over here for your shopping bags as well you can also release your rear seats and fold them down it is a 60 40 with a split in the middle as well um, which you could do that as well the tires are run flat tires so you do get extra storage space right under the uh, trunk over here and you also do get a nice basket for your convenience if you ever find yourself needing a basket for whatever reason as well um, and then when you do purchase the vehicle you will get your um, wheel lock bolts right over here as well you do get extra netting and then also a nice first aid kit is which always comes with every mercedes-benz now i'm sitting in the rear of the vehicle and as you can see i have a lot of space i went ahead and jumped on the driver's seat the way i would drive the vehicle i'm five foot nine so you have an idea of um, how spacious this vehicle is which is pretty sweet you do get your brown ash wood trim that goes all the way around the vehicle and on every door and you also have the nice burmeister speakers which is the surround sound um, burmeister system that the mercedes-benz uses for their higher end models um, and then you'll notice right here you have a nice little door handle a hook right there as well you have a nice reading light right there as well when it's dark out this light is actually extremely bright as well um, you have this right here as well and then for your air vents you can easily open or close by just twisting right or twisting left and right down here you have your ashtray you have the cigarette lighter and you have an extra usb port right there which is pretty sweet you can close that up as well so it's not bothering you at all in time when you're not using it and i would say three adults comfortably sit in this vehicle in the rear of this vehicle as well which is pretty sweet and right down over here in case there's two people back here or one person you have this extra armrest with a little extra storage space right there as well and then you also do get the cup holders right there really easy to use just slide your cup right in and then you can actually just take it out pop it in they're trying to utilize every single space of this vehicle as well and now I'm sitting in the most enjoyable seat of this beautiful CLS, which is, of course, the driver's seat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about most of the buttons that this vehicle does have. So you can actually get, um, when you do get this vehicle, you'll be able to know exactly what to get or what to do, okay? You do get a heated seat. You also do get a ventilated seat. And this last button right over here is to go ahead and control the passenger seat. If I want to move the seat itself, raise it, lower it, move it forward or move it back uh, for respect that somebody's going to be sitting down possibly you just shut that right there as well you can shut that all off you do also get the power seats for people that are a little bit taller as well you click onto that your seat does stretch forward as well and go back for you also headrest up and down automatically backrest here you are just like that as well you also do get a three memory seats right there really easy to memorize a power seat for mercedes-benz you just easily click m and the number you want and you're a beep and now at that point, you know that your seat is fully memorized, which I'm talking about the steering wheel, the mirrors, and also the seat. So I'm going to go ahead and move that. So in case someone just happened to drive your vehicle and they moved your seat, possibly, including your mirrors, and you're like, this, this is not the way I sit. You easily just hold on to your number one in this case, and it takes everything back to 
it's place where you initially memorized it at as well. Um, you do also get the Burmester speakers. As you can tell, I do have the blue um, ambient light turned on. You can easily change it to whichever color you like, you like um, by using the voice command or the screen itself, and I can show you how, exactly how that works as well. You get the dual 12.3 inch uh, display as well. You also have your cruise control, which is the, the, the Distronic, which is the driver's assist. You can turn it on just like that. You go ahead and set. You also have your car to car distance, and you can shut it off really, really easy. Set, set, set up, set low, and cancel or reset really, really easy. The gear shifter is right behind the steering wheel to the right hand side. Easily hit re up for reverse, down is drive, and then this button right here is for park. Once you put your car in reverse, your, um, all your cameras will easy, automatically engage, okay? And same thing with the air vents right up front over here. You wanna close the air vent, you just twist, twist, shuts off, twist, twist, twist back, and it turns right back on. You do get the um, dual climate control. You can set your temperature on the left side, you can set your temperature on the right side, and then the fans are right here, and all the extra features as well, which is your uh, rear condition, uh, the rear window, the, the windshield as well, the defroster, and all that stuff. You also do get your volume control right down over here and right over here as well. You can just easily just click up, like select up or select down, and you have that. You also do get the voice command, which the voice command, which is for pretty much anything on this vehicle, for your lights, your ventilation, your navigation, and all that stuff right there as well. Um, let's just say you want to give that a shot. You would say, change ambient light to red. Ambient light red. Just like that. If I want to turn on my heated seat, let's see if you could see that right there. Or passenger heated seat. Turn on heated seat. Seat heating on. Or same thing with the ventilation seat, which is actually pretty sweet, and then you're able to do that. You also do get the multicolor if you'd like. Um, you can go different color on the air vents and different color under the wood trim as well. Navigation button right there, radio right over here. Uh, you could just easily twist right, twist left on your round knob. Same thing with the mouse pad right over here. Or you can just um, call out your uh, station as well. For your phone calls, you can answer, you can hang up just like that. You do get the NFC wireless charging. So in this case, it has to be an iPhone 8 or newer. In this case, I have the iPhone XS Max, I think it's what it's called. So for those of you that have the XS Max, you can just easily pop your phone right in there. And then you'll notice that it starts to wirelessly charge your phone as well. There's also a slot for your Mercedes-Benz key fob as well, where you can pop that in there as well. Um, you do get a nice little ashtray, or what I like to call a coin tray, for those of you that don't smoke. You get a nice Mercedes-Benz ashtray that goes in the cup holder. And you have extra buttons right down over here as well. You have your dynamic select. When you turn your car on, you can hit up for an Eco, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. Every time you turn your, your car on, it's always engaged in the comfort mode as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then you have your mouse pad right here. You have your mouse pad right there. And you have your round knob. That's all the control for the screen. You can easily just choose what you'd like or the mouse pad just, just like that. And then last things I forgot to talk about, which was your glove compartment and also your center armrest. You can just easily pop this button. It opens up automatically for you. You do get two extra USB ports right there. You have an SD card holder right here as well. So in case you have music and an SD card, you pop that right in there. Hit your media button right there and then all your music from your SD card will play as well so you have those two ports right in there you have one extra port right over here which is also for your smartphone integration which is charging and also for smartphone integration integration which is the um, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto which is pretty sweet you can use your text messages your phone calls your ways and whatnot what else you'd like to use and in the glove compartment you'll notice um, all this uh, extra stuff is for us to be able to locate the key but you'll notice that there's actually a button right behind the key fob you just select click that right there so unless you don't lock this your glove box won't be locked but you can just slide that key blade right in there so in case you're valet your car you can just pop that right just like that and once you get your car back you open that up just like that as well really easy to use make sure you put that back in place and then right up over here you won't be able to see possibly but there's a lock 
and unlock. You hear the buttons clicking? So you can actually lock or unlock your trunk as well. So no matter what somebody does, if you lock your trunk, you lock your, your glove box, if someone's pressing onto the, uh, trying to open the power lift gate the way I was showing you just earlier, or with the key fob, any which way, it won't open up unless that's unlocked. And once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video on the beautiful 2020 CLS 450. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and comment down below, and we'll see you next time.